In today's video, I will show you how to plan your goals in ClickUp and create your tasks from them so that you actually achieve your goals so that they're not dusting away on some paper in the cupboard. Hello, hello, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel where I help you to create better systems in your business so that you can spend more time on the things that you enjoy. And I've got a really good one for you today because it's going to help you to consistently work on the needle moving tasks in your business that are going to bring you actually closer to achieving your goals. Before we jump in though, I would really like to know one like big or small goal that you are looking to achieve this year. For me, I definitely want to get back into consistently producing YouTube videos, so that is on my list. One more thing, if you are brand new to ClickUp, you might want to check out this video first where I just walk through the basic functionality and I give you a bit of an inspiration of how it can help you to run your business so much easier. Okay, so let's go into ClickUp and set some goals. So in ClickUp, there is a built-in goal section where you can put in your goals. However, unlike ClickUp, it is not very customizable. So I prefer to just have my own list, what I can customize as I want it. So I just prefer that one. So usually in the beginning of the year, I will plan my sort of main goals for the year and break them down into quarters and then break them down into months whenever that should happen. So the main view here is just a list, which is grouped by quarter. And then it's just showing the quarter and the month here for just a really broad overview. And then I've got all the goals. These are just dummy goals. And I also have this view here. Sometimes a bit nicer to look at it this way. And then I also have this list view, which is divided or grouped by month. So once I get a bit deeper into it and I just look at, okay, what's on this month. And then I try to also have like only max three priorities of the month so I have this extra field here where I just make sure that I don't overload myself so this is just the main goal planning and then I'd have like a reoccurring task every month to go back in and see where I'm at or every week or however often you want to do that you can add in complexity as much as you'd like so for example launch a new visual product you could add subtasks here for example like product one in product two and so on and so forth and then you could add a dependency on this one which is saying waiting on another task and you can put in here the task where you are actually creating the product so that way you can always see the status in here and stuff like that but for simplicity I'm just gonna leave it at this and I'm just gonna quickly show you how you can set this up for yourself if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it so much and it helps me to create more videos like this. Let's dive back into ClickUp and I'll show you how you can build this out for yourself. If you rather want to save that time and just import the template, you can do so. The link to my brand new template shop is in the description below. Basically, you just create a list for your goals. So let's just call this goals. And in the beginning, it just looks like this. Not much there. So let's just put in a couple of goals here. And what else? Um, make 10K is always good. However, I try to keep it at goals that are in my power because 10K is like, yeah. Um, it's better to put in a film like 10 YouTube videos or something like that, which I have completely under my control. So then I want to add in a custom field here, which is a drop down, which is going to be the quarters, which is going to be Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Add that in. And then also we want to have another one, which is the month. And I'm just going to call it Jan, Feb, March, April my June. okay that should be enough just to show you how how it works let's just put this in here so these ones are all looking like this you can add your colors as you like it just go through here and i'm just going to add this in so once you've got this in here you can change the grouping status here to that field so we're just going to change that to quarters. Make sure that you are saving this view here with auto save. So this is our quarter list. So let's just rename this and call it quarters. And we might want to also pin this here. 
Uh, and then also you want to add in whatever month. So let's say we want to do this in January. This one is going to happen in April. And then this one is maybe in, oh, we don't even have more than that. So we might need to add September or something like that. Let's put, just put September there. So we've got all our month here. You can add and take away columns as you like. So if you assign it, it's always going to be you. You can take that off if you like priority. I don't really use that in that sense. And due date, if you want to, like for this kind of planning stage, I tend to not have anything in there, but that's completely up to you. And then you might want to add in this board view here as well. So you can change this name to quarters and just pin this as well and just change the grouping to quarters. As easy as that, you can see that. Make sure you save this as well. And then we want to add another list, which is then showing us the month. So we want to group this one by month and save this as well. And save this and rename it monthly and pin it. And then we obviously want to add a couple of columns here. So we'll just add in our month quarters and quarters in here and whatever else you might want to have a due date in here and if you added in the sort of dependencies you can put that in as well and you can see which task this is waiting on or whatever is happening in there so you'll know okay this one's done so that you know where it's at you can reorganize these as you like if you want to add that priorities field in you can just add a text area in here which we just call priority and we can just put in a one two or three if you have obviously more than one goal here but you get what i mean so yeah that's how i plan my goals in ClickUp. this has helped me a lot to make sure that i only work on the things that are actually going to get me closer to what i want to achieve so there you have it have fun planning your goals and let me know once you achieve them so that we can celebrate now if you want to dive deeper into ClickUp and you want to know all the tricks of how you can run your business easier and more efficiently with ClickUp, then have a look in the description below and sign up to the waitlist for my very soon coming ClickUp mini course. In the meantime though, you can check out this playlist here, which is full of other ClickUp tutorials. For example, how to plan your content and your daily schedule in ClickUp. Now have an amazing day and I can't wait to see you again in the next video.